Today, we've got something truly special for you. We'll be unveiling nine of the newest real images taken by the groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope. These aren't just any ordinary snapshots. These are the keys to unlocking the secrets of our universe. From the bustling star nurseries in the Orion Nebula to the mysterious phenomena in far-off regions of space, prepare to embark on a visual journey that will redefine how you see our cosmos. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the universe together. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep up with our latest cosmic journeys. Image number one, the intricate dance of Herbig Harrow. 212, a cosmic waterfall in the Orion constellation. Imagine gazing up into a clear night sky and spotting Orion, one of the most recognizable constellations with its famed trio of stars forming Orion's belt. Now let your mind wander even further beyond what your eyes can see to a place about 1,400 light years away from Earth. What would you find? You'd encounter a mesmerizing astronomical phenomenon known as Herbig Harrow 212, HH 212. So what exactly is Herbig Harrow 212? It's not a star nor a planet, but an exhilarating interstellar spectacle. It consists of two powerful jets of material shooting out from a forming star, almost like a cosmic fountain. These jets aren't composed of water or anything you might find in your backyard. Instead, they're made of charged particles, gas, and dust. But how do we know all this? Thank the groundbreaking Webb Telescope. Equipped with unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, this telescope has captured an infrared image of HH-212. The infrared spectrum allows us to see objects in space that are otherwise hidden from our eyes by the cloak of cosmic dust. What makes this telescope so special compared to others? Its ability to peer deeply into space enables astronomers to scrutinize objects like HH-212 in a way they've never been able to before. Let's dive deeper into the scientific jargon for a moment. When we say high resolution, we're talking about the telescope's capacity to capture tiny details. Think of it as the difference between a blurry old photograph and a crystal clear image on a 4K television. Sensitivity refers to the telescope's skill at detecting faint objects, akin to how your eyes adjust to see better in a dimly lit room. Armed with these capabilities, the Webb telescope acts like a cosmic detective, revealing subtleties and details in Herbig Harrow 212 that were previously unattainable. So why is HHH 212 so fascinating to astronomers? Because it's like a live-action science lab in the sky, offering clues about the early stages of star formation. When a star is born, it's a tumultuous affair, filled with explosive interactions between particles, intense heat, and volatile energies. By observing these jets in HH-212, scientists can gain critical insights into the mechanics and physics behind the birth of stars. The particles in the jets could be moving at speeds exceeding hundreds of kilometers per second. Imagine an object traveling from New York to Los Angeles in just a couple of seconds. Still curious about how these jets even form? Picture a young star shrouded in a spinning disk of gas and dust. As the star matures, it ejects material along its axis of rotation, creating these astounding jets. It's like the universe's way of letting off steam, except the steam is more like a jet-fueled rocket shooting through the cosmos. So the next time you gaze up at the constellation Orion, Remember that deep within its celestial boundaries lies an astronomical wonder like Herbig Harrow 212. It's a vivid reminder that our universe is far more dynamic and captivating than we could ever conceive. And thanks to technological marvels like the Webb Telescope, we're just beginning to scratch the surface. Isn't it intriguing to ponder what other celestial secrets await our discovery? Image number two, unraveling the mysteries of NGC 4151. 
the spiral galaxy with a hyperactive heart in Kane's Venatici. Ever heard of Kane's Venatici? Even if you're not an avid stargazer, buckle up for an intergalactic journey to a place where space literally comes alive. Nestled within this constellation, which you might find challenging to spot, lies a captivating object called NGC 4151. What's special about this celestial body, you might ask? It's not just any ordinary galaxy, it's a spiral galaxy with something extraordinarily energetic at its core, known as an active galactic nucleus. Let's break that down in simple terms. Picture a spiral galaxy as a cosmic pinwheel. Now think about its core or nucleus as the hub of this pinwheel. Most galaxy cores are like sleepy little villages, quiet and stable. But the nucleus of NGC 4151, it's more like the heart of a bustling metropolis with tremendous energy and movement. This energy isn't just random. It's so focused that astronomers give it a special name, Active Galactic Nucleus, or AGN for short. So what makes it active? It's like a cosmic powerhouse, constantly spitting out high-energy particles. This celestial marvel is located 62 million light-years away from us. That's a distance so enormous that the light we see today from NGC 4151 started its journey when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. If that doesn't make your mind boggle, consider the size of this object. When we say the image of this galaxy is 2.4 arcmen across, we're talking about a viewing angle. To put it into perspective, the galaxy itself spans about 440,000 light years. How big is that? It's so gigantic that you could fit roughly four Milky Way galaxies within it. How do scientists get these details? Instruments like the Hubble telescope provide a zoomed-in look, offering crisp images that scientists can analyze. For instance, the term Arcman might sound technical, but it's just a unit that measures how big an object appears in the sky, just like inches or centimeters measure things here on Earth. Ever wondered how galaxies like NGC 4151 interact with their environment? The active galactic nucleus doesn't just keep to itself. It actually influences the whole galaxy and even its neighboring galaxies. Imagine a campfire. The flames and heat don't just stay in one spot. They radiate outward, affecting the air and everything around it. Similarly, the AGN can stir up the material in its galaxy causing it to glow, create winds, and even impact the formation of new stars. Isn't it fascinating to think that one part of a galaxy can dictate the fate of the entire cosmic neighborhood? So there you have it. A quick trip to NGC 4151 in the constellation of Khans Venatici. It's not just another point in the sky. It's a swirling maze of cosmic activity with an energized core that's anything but ordinary. And just like that, each glance toward the heavens becomes an invitation to wonder. What other galaxies with their own unique characteristics are waiting out there for us to uncover? Image number three, the stellar nursery in the skies, an infrared glimpse into NGC, 346. Picture a cosmic nursery where baby stars are just beginning to stretch their celestial limbs. We're journeying to NGC 346, a region bustling with young stars still swaddled in their cosmic cribs of gas and dust. Where can you find this extraordinary area? It lies far beyond our galaxy, nestled within the small Magellanic cloud in the constellation Tucana. How far are we talking? A staggering 210,000 light years away from Earth. Imagine a photon, a particle of light, embarking on a voyage that long just to reach our telescopes. The tail of NGC 346 unfurls in a spectacular image captured by the Webb Space Telescope. If you're wondering why the Webb Telescope is getting so much attention, it's because its infrared vision is a game changer. What does infrared mean? It's a type of light that's invisible to human eyes, but incredibly useful for peeking through cosmic fog. Think of it like using night vision goggles to see in the dark. 
When you hear 4.7 arc minutes, it might sound like someone's talking in code. But really, it's just a fancy way to say that the image we see of this star-forming region is about 280 light-years across in real space. To give you a sense of that size, one light-year is about 6 trillion miles. How many Earths could fit into such a dimension? The answer is mind-boggling, billions upon billions. The image unveils infant stars, still cradled in their gaseous nurseries, glowing like tiny fireflies. What's remarkable about this? Normally, these fledgling stars would be obscured by the very gas and dust that nurture them. But thanks to Webb's ability to penetrate that cosmic mist, these hidden gems are revealed. And here's the kicker. Webb's sharp eyes are expected to uncover thousands more stars that are still in their developmental stage in this very region. Why is a star-forming region like NGC 346 important to scientists? For one, it's like a live biology class, but for stars, observing these nascent stars can offer invaluable clues about how stars like our own sun were born. Do they start as small flickers and then grow brighter? What conditions lead to their birth? Each discovery in NGC 346 adds a piece to the complex puzzle of cosmic star formation. So the next time you look up at the night sky, ponder this. Somewhere in the distant constellation of Tucana, new stars are being born in NGC 346, and they are as young as stars can be. Isn't it thrilling to consider that even as you go about your day, the universe is continually changing, and telescopes like Webb are there to document these awe-striking changes? What other stellar mysteries might be unfolding in corners of the universe that we've yet to explore? Image number four, a cosmic whodunit, decoding the multi-wavelength spectacle of supernova 1987. A. Imagine the universe as a grand theater and every celestial body as an actor. Some stars live humdrum lives, while others go out with a bang, literally. Today, let's tune into the dramatic tale of supernova 1987A, or SN 1987A for short. So, what exactly is a supernova. Think of it as the grand finale in a star's life, a colossal explosion that outshines entire galaxies for a brief moment. But SN 1987A isn't just any regular supernova, it's a supernova remnant, meaning it's the glowing, spreading debris left over from that gigantic explosion. Situated in the Dorado constellation, this cosmic spectacle is a staggering 163,000 light years away. To wrap your head around that distance, consider this. The light from SN 1987A that reaches us today set off on its journey around the time early humans were first using tools. Isn't it mind-boggling to think about the layers of history embedded in that light? The word multi-wavelength might sound like a mouthful, but it's actually the key to understanding this cosmic riddle. Multi-wavelength observations use various types of light to study an object, like putting on different colored glasses to look at a painting. Why is this method so revolutionary? Well, each type of light reveals different secrets. For example, visible light might show us the color and shape of the remnant, while X-rays can expose hot, high-energy spots we'd otherwise miss. Let's say you're peering into a murky pond and you put on special goggles that allow you to see through the water, into the mud, and even highlight living creatures you wouldn't notice otherwise. That's essentially what multi-wavelength observations do for astronomers looking at SN 1987A. By examining it through various lenses, they can piece together its complicated story, including how the explosion happened, what elements were created, and how the remnant is interacting with its surrounding space. This supernova remnant has something for everyone. Whether you're interested in physics, chemistry, or even the philosophy of life and death on a cosmic scale, do all stars have the same fate? What does the life cycle of a star like the one that resulted in SN 1987 
A, tell us about our own son's eventual demise. These aren't just rhetorical questions. Each clue we get from studying SN 1987, A helps us inch closer to answering these monumental questions. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember that it's not just a pretty backdrop. It's a dynamic stage where stars like those in the SN 1987 A remnant play out their final acts, leaving behind clues for us to decipher. And who knows, the secrets unraveled from this distant cosmic event could one day answer questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. Isn't it enthralling to consider what else is out there, hidden behind the curtains of space and time, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself? Image number five, the cosmic searchlight, spotlighting the hidden residence of NGC 1333. What if I told you there's a celestial neighborhood not too far from our own Milky Way, packed with a population of young stars and even possible planets? Enter NGC 1333, a vibrant region of star formation located a relatively short distance of 1,000 light years away in the constellation Perseus, now, before you think that's a trek, consider this. Light travels at an astonishing 186,282 miles per second. So even at that speed, it would take light a thousand years to reach us from NGC 1333. That means we're essentially looking at a snapshot of what NGC 1333 was like 1,000 years ago. Isn't that a humbling thought? This stellar nursery is particularly intriguing to scientists because it's like a cosmic hide-and-seek playground. What does that mean? Well, it's brimming with small, faint celestial objects that are often overshadowed by their brighter, more ostentatious neighbors. Think of NGC 1333 as a bustling city where the skyscrapers, bright, big stars, often draw your attention away from the charming little shops, smaller, fainter stars, on the street. The James Webb Space Telescope is set to play the role of a cosmic detective, looking for these overlooked residents of NGC 1333. How will it do this? The telescope's advanced technology allows it to find extremely dim objects, including those with planetary masses. In simpler terms, Webb can spot celestial bodies that are so faint and small, they could be similar in size to our own planets. But why does spotting these elusive residents matter? You see, understanding the variety of objects in a star-forming region like NGC, 1333, can help us answer some fundamental questions. How do stars and planets come into existence? What types of celestial bodies can form in such regions? And what conditions make it possible for smaller, fainter objects to survive amidst the bright giants? As Webb trains its focus on NGC 1333, its findings could revolutionize our understanding of star and planet formation. Imagine what we could learn from a place where even the smallest and faintest of objects get their moment in the spotlight. We might discover celestial wonders we never knew existed, or better yet, unravel the intricate processes that lead to their formation. So the next time you peer up at the inky night sky, remember that every pinpoint of light might just have an inconspicuous companion, and faraway places like NGC 1333 are helping us unravel those cosmic mysteries. Who knows, Webb might even spot a new Earth-like planet hiding in the shadows. What would you do if we found another Earth-like planet out there? Wouldn't that completely rewrite what we know about our place in the universe? Image number six, the cosmic dance floor, unveiling the secrets of the sculptor dwarf galaxy. 
Let's embark on an extraordinary journey to a far corner of the cosmos, to a place named the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy, located in the Sculptor Constellation. A mere 290,000 light years away, and yes, mere is quite relative here, this enigmatic galaxy is like a quieter, distant cousin to our own bustling Milky Way. How does it relate to our galaxy, you ask? Well, the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy acts as a kind of companion to the Milky Way, orbiting around it much like a loyal friend. Now, why would astronomers be so fascinated with a place that seems so unassuming compared to the fiery grandeur of other celestial bodies? The answer lies in a mysterious substance known as dark matter. Picture a dance floor filled with dancers twirling around, but you can only see some of them. You know more dancers must be there because you can see their effect on the ones you can see. That's how dark matter works. We can't directly observe it, but we know it's there because of how it affects the movement of stars and galaxies. James Webb Space Telescope, the high-tech stargazer, will play a crucial role in studying Sculptor and its other dwarf galaxy companion, Draco. Just like a dance instructor analyzing every twist and turn, Webb will focus on how the stars in these dwarf galaxies move. Why is this so significant? You see, by watching how these stars whirl and pirouette in their celestial ballet, researchers can glean insights into how dark matter is distributed in these galaxies. Picture this, if a dancer suddenly speeds up or slows down on our imaginary dance floor, you'd realize something unseen, perhaps another dancer, is influencing them. Similarly, how stars move within a galaxy can reveal the presence and distribution of dark matter, which holds significant sway over a galaxy's structure and behavior. This isn't just an academic exercise. Understanding dark matter could help us solve a variety of cosmic puzzles. How did galaxies form? How do they keep their shape? Moreover, how does the invisible web of dark matter tie our universe together? These aren't just queries for the nerdy science lover. They're foundational questions that affect our understanding of the universe itself. So the next time you find yourself stargazing, ponder over the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy and its intricate dance with invisible partners. What other secrets might this celestial ballroom be hiding? Could unraveling the steps of this cosmic dance eventually lead us to a more profound understanding of the universe's ultimate choreography? How would your perspective on life change if you knew more about the hidden, dark aspects of our universe? It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Image number seven, the hidden heart of the Milky Way, a closer look in infrared light. Imagine trying to watch a play from the back row, but the stage is shrouded in heavy curtains and your view is mostly blocked. Frustrating, right? That's the challenge astronomers face when they try to look at the very core of our Milky Way galaxy. Imagine a bustling city center where the most exciting activities happen, only it's concealed behind layers of cosmic dust and gas. How can we take a peek behind this celestial veil? Meet the James Webb Space Telescope, our advanced infrared viewing ticket to the galactic center. Unlike optical telescopes that you might use in your backyard, the Webb Telescope can peer through the dust and gas, much like night vision goggles allow you to see in the dark. Ever used a thermal camera to see heat? That's how the infrared capabilities of the Webb Telescope work. It can detect types of light that our eyes can't see revealing what's hidden. Now, why is this so spellbinding? For one, peering into the galactic core is like opening a time capsule. It may hold secrets of our galaxy's origins. Plus, the Webb telescope doesn't just show us blurred images, it sharpens them, revealing faint stars and intricate details we never knew existed. Imagine looking at a painting so close that you can see each brushstroke. The Webb telescope allows us that kind of intimate, detailed view. Think about the complexity for a moment. What ancient stories are these faint stars whispering? What cosmic phenomena have left their mark in these sharper details? 
What does the galactic core mean for us, residing in a small corner of this galaxy? Could there be a black hole acting like a director, orchestrating the movements of everything around it? So many questions, and the answers may reshape our understanding of the Milky Way, and by extension, our place in the universe. The challenge of lifting this cosmic curtain is a colossal one, but the Webb telescope is up for the task. Its infrared vision promises to peel back the layers of mystery, revealing the vibrant life and history at the core of our galaxy. What new cosmic phenomena are we about to discover? How might this impact our understanding of how galaxies evolve, or even of the ultimate fate of our Milky Way? The thought of finally unlocking these mysteries that have been hiding in plain sight is incredibly tantalizing. And as we edge closer to this grand revelation, you might want to consider how this extraordinary exploration into our own galactic backyard will change the way you look up at the night sky, sprinkled with stars that are merely the tip of the celestial iceberg. Number 8. The Mysterious Storms of Saturn, a mid-infrared spectacle. Imagine gazing at a distant thunderstorm from your cozy living room window. The flashes of lightning illuminate the dark skies for mere moments. But what if the storm was so massive and vivid that it completely altered how you view the planet it's happening on? Welcome to the spectacle of Saturn's colossal storms, as captured in unprecedented clarity by the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared eye. Ever wondered what mid-infrared means? It's like a special camera lens that lets us see types of light our eyes can't catch. It's similar to those thermal imaging cameras used by firefighters to see through smoke. In space science, mid-infrared can reveal fascinating aspects of planets and stars that would otherwise be hidden. So when Webb pointed its lens at Saturn, what we got wasn't just a regular image. It was a vibrant, detailed snapshot of the planet's atmosphere. Saturn is a gas giant meaning it's mostly made of, you guessed it, gas. And deep within these gaseous layers, something extraordinary happens. Massive storms brew and churn, energized by warm gases. Imagine a pot of boiling water, but instead of steam, it's glowing gases that light up the storm, making it stand out like a dazzling jewel against the backdrop of the planet's other swirling clouds. Why is this glowing storm so intriguing? Think about it. Saturn is over 700 million miles away from Earth, and yet we're capturing images of its weather patterns as if it were just across the street. What could be fueling these storms? What unique chemical reactions are taking place to generate such warmth and luminosity? These questions beckon scientists and captivate those of us who marvel at the wonders of our solar system. The Webb Telescope's new image pushes the boundaries of what we thought we knew about planetary meteorology. That's the science of weather, but on a planet-to-planet -planet scale. Could similar storms be happening on other gas giants, like Jupiter or Uranus? Could the warm gases have a unique composition that might hint at Saturn's inner structure or even its origin? As you ponder these questions, consider how much there is yet to learn about our celestial neighbors. The storms on Saturn are not just fleeting weather phenomena, they're cosmic clues, begging us to pay closer attention. With each new discovery, we peel back yet another layer in our quest to understand the intricacies of the universe, a quest that the Webb Telescope is propelling into uncharted territories. This incredible storm, captured like never before, not only enriches our understanding of Saturn, but also nudges us to ponder on the untold mysteries of our solar system. How many more of these captivating phenomena are out there just waiting to be discovered? And how will these newfound revelations transform our comprehension of what it means to exist in this ever-expanding universe? So the next time you look up at the night sky, try to spot Saturn. Behind its distant glimmer could be the next great storm waiting to tell us its secrets.
Image number nine, the hidden theater of the Orion Nebula, a stage for star birth. Have you ever wondered where stars come from? Just as a seedling bursts forth from the soil, stars too have their birthplaces. And one of the most iconic nurseries is the Orion Nebula. This isn't just any run-of-the-mill patch of space. It's a bustling metropolis of stellar birth, and it resides in the constellation Orion, easily visible to the naked eye on a clear night. So what's an emission nebula, and what makes it a star-forming region? Imagine a vast cloud of gas and dust glowing like a neon sign, energized by the young stars within it. That's basically what an emission nebula is. It's a space nursery where baby stars are born, grow up, and begin their cosmic journey. The Orion Nebula, also known by its more formal names of M42 and NGC 1976, is one of the best examples we have of such an active stellar playground. Positioned at a mere 1,500 light years away from us, this spectacle is relatively close in the grand scale of the universe. How far is 1,500 light years, you ask? It's the distance light travels in 1,500 years. Imagine the fastest thing you know, light, and think about how far it would go in all those years. That's really, really far, but in the scale of the universe, it's more like a neighborly distance. The James Webb Space Telescope has been closely watching this celestial drama, and recently it captured a breathtaking mosaic of the nebula's central part. Amid this hive of cosmic activity, you can spot the famous trapezium stars, so named because they appear to form a trapezoid shape. But these stars are more than just geometric curiosities. They're part of an even larger ensemble of stellar youth known as the Trapezium Cluster. Picture a densely populated city, but instead of humans, it's teeming with over a thousand fledgling stars. What's it like in this star-packed neighborhood? Imagine if each star were a firework show of radiant energy, particles, and magnetic fields. How do all these baby stars interact with each other, especially in such cramped quarters? Are they influencing each other's growth or behavior? How do these interactions sculpt the birth of future planets that might one day orbit these stars? These are some of the tantalizing questions that researchers aim to answer as they train the Webb telescope even more closely on this area. Let's not forget the significant role that the Orion Nebula plays as a natural laboratory for understanding stellar birth and evolution. Studying this nebula isn't just about understanding one part of the sky. It's about decoding the processes that set the stage for the universe as we know it. So, the next time you look up and see the constellation Orion, consider this. You're not just seeing a random assortment of stars. You're gazing at a celestial theater where the universe's rules are being written, tested, and perhaps even rewritten. The Orion Nebula, with its swirling gases, newborn stars, and mysterious formations, is a complex character in a cosmic story that we're just beginning to understand. What other secrets does it hold? What other characters will emerge from its glowing depths? The Nebula waits to reveal its next act, and we're all on the edge of our seats. Wow, what an incredible journey through the cosmos we've just taken. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening exploration. Now, we want to hear from you. Which of the nine newest real images from the James Webb Space Telescope caught your eye the most, and why? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on these awe-inspiring snapshots of our universe. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more breathtaking journeys through space. Oh, and see that video popping up on your screen right now? Click it for another thrilling cosmic adventure.